The country closest to my heart is where I grew up, uh, the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire of West Africa. Uh, I grew up in a village where there wasn't even a word for orphan. The concept that a child could lose parents and then have a permanent label put upon them, uh, orphan, uh, was simply not a word we had. Once upon a time in Ghana, there, was, there, there were no orphans. There was Ghana without orphans. What do I mean? Before 1962, there was no institution called orphanage. And it is our culture that when an adult dies, the sisters and the brothers take care of the niece and the nephews. So they don't take the child anywhere. That is the culture we are praying that we come back to. We understood that every child belonged to everyone. We would not allow a child to lose their parents and get all the way to the sunset of that day labeled an orphan. They were absorbed into extended families or into the neighbor. Uh, this is how I know that there's a role for everybody. I say it is better for a child to remain in a family where they have needs, challenges, than the child belonging to an institution where they have food to eat, but they don't have the sense of belonging, and they don't have that family identity. My prayer is that, a, that we will listen and learn from the poor. Um, I, I know what it looks like. When I first heard World Without Orphans, I had no problem with the concept because I had experienced a village without orphans. That is the reason why Ghana without orphans is possible because we've been there centuries. And so we have to empower every family to do everything possible to take care of their children, not sending them into institutions, not sending them into trafficking and other things. My heart and my vision is that what was known and acted on in my little village as my heart was being shaped will be characteristic of the whole world. We will all understand that. So I'm, uh, I'm grateful to my village. I'm grateful to the Ivory Coast for shaping my heart. And I want that spirit to find its way across all nations.